Shuto Uchi or the knife hand strike. In this video, I'll go over three different areas using the Shoto Uchi or the knife hand strike. And at the end of the video, there'll be more information upon the knife hand strike. Okay, now first thing is that when I'm doing this technique, I'm always focusing upon the breathing. I'm trying to inhale and exhale while I'm doing this technique. Then the second thing is the rotation of the shoulders and the hips and the bringing back the other arm to get good leverage on the technique. Now, I will uh, demonstrate um, the Shuto Uchi using a um, focus mitt as a prop. Okay, so this is the, the focus mitt here. The Shuto Uchi will be making contact here. This will be discussed um, a little bit later on in the video on the um, area in which I'll be using with the Shuto Uchi. Okay, now the target area for the Shuto Uchi or the knife, knife hand strike is the base of the neck. So if the person was about my height in front of me, um, this would this is where the technique would go up to the base of their neck. Okay. Then the next, same thing, the person was my height and in front of me. Um, the technique then would go to their larynx. Then the next technique, same thing, the person would be my height, standing in front of me, the uh, technique would go to the bridge of the nose. Shuto Uchi, or the knife hand strike. Now this technique's striking surface is this area here on the hand. The area in which um, you would strike using the sh Shuto Uchi would be the neck, the larynx, the bridge of the nose, or the temple.